guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it is after Christmas and I still have my Christmas decorations up. But for those of you who don't know, I am living in a temporary apartment right now and I don't have any of my normal decorations with me. They're all in storage and I didn't think I was going to be in this apartment this long so I didn't come prepared. So these are going to be up until I buy something else to put back here just because it looks better than just being blank back here, I think. So yeah, I'm like only a couple weeks past Christmas, so it's not that bad, right? So yeah, anyways, the past couple of years I have done a what I got for Christmas video showing you guys things that I got for Christmas. I don't know, I wasn't feeling driven to do that video this year, it just kind of seemed like materialistic and stuff like that, but uh, since I am having a baby, my baby boy did get a few cute things for Christmas from family members and friends. And so those are extra fun and I know you guys are super curious to see like what I am getting to get ready for baby and stuff like that. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys what my baby got for Christmas and most of it is clothes. So it's going to be kind of like a baby boy clothing haul. So yeah, if you guys want to see what we got for him or what our family got for him, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. I posted it on Instagram. My friend Brittany got him this super cute onesie. It is this white short sleeve onesie and it has a print of a cow on it and I love cows so much. They're like probably one of the biggest reasons that I went vegan because they're such sweet, innocent animals and it's just terrible the way that the meat and the dairy industry treat them. So I don't know, seeing that sweet little face on my sweet little baby is just so, so sweet. And this is from an Etsy shop called Heaps, H-E-A-P-S called Health, Energy, Abundance, Passion, and Sharing. And they have a lot of cute animal graphics that they'll print on onesies for you. And this is a six month onesie, so it's gonna be a little while till he gets to wear this, I think, unless he's like a really big baby, which he might be if he's anything like his dad. So yeah, super excited about that. I think it's absolutely adorable and super sweet. Oh, and this is actually something I bought when I was out shopping. I saw these at H&M and they were on sale for only $3, so I figured I could just grab those because I thought they were really cute, and they are these bandana bibs. So there's a forest green one, a navy one, and a darker red one. I just think those are really cute. They're just different than normal bibs. Like, he could just wear this over a onesie and it would look like kind of cute and stylish, but also like if he's drooling or like spitting up, then I could just take this off and wash that. So I thought those were really cute and practical, you know, because like you want to have practical stuff, but you also want to look cool while you're wearing that practical stuff, right? And for $3, I just thought that was a really good deal. So then Austin's parents got us a couple of things too. This is so, so cute. This is a baby onesie that is like burgundy and white stripe, but then it has this like Henley poking out, but it's like all one piece. I just think that like looks really cute. Um, and it has these really cute buttons on them and it snaps all the way across and this is by Nordstrom Baby and it is three month size but honestly it like, looks like the same size as the six month one so I feel like I'm just gonna have to like try all of these on him like as he gets older to see how they fit him and stuff like that but yeah so cute absolutely love this. And then they also got him this teething ring, and it's a little giraffe. Let's open it. So it's this little rubber teething ring. Oops. And it says Sophie La Giraffe, and it is like a cute little giraffe, which I think is super sweet because obviously I love animals. And then my mom got us a bunch of baby clothes, and I'm pretty sure she got all of this stuff like at a really good deal, like everything on sale. And so yeah, and I was telling you guys how um, I don't really like baby boy clothes. Like I'm really just about like neutrals and stuff when it comes to boys. Like if I had a little girl, I would like go crazy with like patterns and colorful stuff. But for boys, like I don't know, I just think about like what I would picture Austin wearing, but little boy version. I don't know if that makes sense. Like obviously Austin wouldn't wear all this baby stuff, but I don't know. I have like a weird baby style, just kind of neutral. And I was telling my mom about that. So she got me a lot of neutral stuff. So she got me these little jean shorts because he's going to be born in June. So perfect time for shorts, right? And these are by Jumping Beans and they're nine month size, but they look little to me. I, maybe I'm wrong like about my eyeballing of what these sizes are. Like I think some things look smaller and bigger and when he gets here, I'll just try them on him and we will see how they fit him. But yeah, 
these are super cute. These, I mean, she left the price tag on it, not that that matters. These were only $2.40. Like, I can't get over how inexpensive baby clothes are. Like, I'm so jealous. I wish my clothes were that inexpensive. I wish I could get jean shorts for $2.40. Um, and then also, these were also same brand, same price. These little, like, uh, just like gray sweat shorts. So, those are super cute with like a little onesie underneath. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These are from H&M. And they're like these drop crotch sweatpants. Um, and they have like a little like patchy on the knee. These are so, so cute. And these are a six to nine months. So those are super cute. And then this is also so cute. And it's also from H&M. And this is a six to nine month also. And it's navy and white stripes. And it has this really cute patch on the elbow. You know what? Actually, maybe this is just like a dark gray. I don't know why I thought it was navy at first, but yeah, like a dark gray and like ivory stripe. So cute. Another little pair of shorts. These are 18 months, so I don't really think these look that much bigger than the other ones, but I could just be so wrong. But yeah, these are by Jumping Beans also, and these are adorable little plaid shorts. Neutrals, plaid, and stripes. If you guys can't tell, that's kind of like the look I'm going for, I guess, with him. And oh my gosh, these are so cute too. Oh my gosh, this would be so cute with this. So like this, whoops, this onesie with these gray drop waist sweatpants. How cute are they? And they're like little jogger style, so cute. And they have little buttons right here. Love that, he's gonna be like such a cute little man. This is from Carter's and it is a three month size. So he should be able to wear this pretty soon after he comes like a little oatmeal colored hoodie with buttons and then a little matching sweatpants and the sweatpants have little clouds on the knees, super sweet. And then a little pack of neutral newborn socks from H&M. So these ones are like ivory with a little bear on them. These ones are gray and white stripes and then these ones are gray with a little face on them. So those are really cute and they're really like cushy and soft. And then we got a newborn onesie that is gray, that has these little sheep on it. Look how little that is. So cute, I hope he's this little. I'm gonna be so sad if he just like skips over the newborn phase and like goes straight into three months at size because this is so little and so cute. I hope he's this tiny. And then another newborn one that is gray. And this is also from Carter's and it says, hello, I'm new here. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, that's a newborn size and this one also has like um, The sleeves that you can like roll over their hands so they don't scratch their face Fun fact when I was born my nails grow really fast like even now as an adult And so I guess I like came out of my mom's womb like with really long nails And I had been like scratching my own face like while I was in my mom's stomach And so I had like a super like scratched up bloody face when I was born So cute, right? So, my baby has nail things too. I'm gonna need to get him a lot of these like little onesies that cover his hands or mittens or something so he doesn't scratch his poor little face. It's a t-shirt from Carter's that says, I woke up this cute. It's so cute. Oh, and last but not least, I almost forgot because I needed to open this, but he won't be able to wear this till next winter. <laughs> it is a hat. Like a super big hat, like I feel like that's just gonna like drown him, but like how cute would that be for like a picture? So cute, like I make him like a little like red onesie and like put him in this for like Christmas card pictures or something. So adorable! And then Austin's aunt, oh Austin's other aunt got me this really cute book too. I don't know where I put it, I think I, it's in my shelf, but Austin's other aunt got me a little book that it's like filled with envelopes that you can write to your baby in the future so like I'll write them now like as he's a baby and then it'll be like on your wedding day on your high school graduation day like all these things like when you get your first job like when you get your driver's license so you can write him a little letter now while he's a baby and he can open it later while he is grown up and I just think that is so cute and the envelopes are really cute in that and then Austin's other aunt got me a book that says take care of my child a mother's dream so it is, like I don't know, I got this, it's before you were born, before you came to be, I dreamed a love song. And then it's just like a really sweet 
little book, like a mother's like wish to her child. So, Ma. so cute. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the cute things that he has gotten so far. It's so crazy that I have like this like box full of things for him yet and he's not even here yet. He's just going to be so loved and so excited. Like I'm, I'm not even halfway there yet and I'm already so anxious to meet him. And I just wish he was here and I could just like kiss his little cheeks and hold him and just like look at his little face, you guys. Like I'm already so obsessed with him and he's not even here yet. I still have like five more months to wait. <sighs> it's going to be a long five months. So yeah, things like this are keeping me excited in the meantime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more baby related videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'm planning on filming a updated pregnancy vlog next week. So look out for that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Bye.